Shocking news, the Bank of England have just raised their interest rates. And in this video, I want to share with you why it's so important that you really understand what is going on, what you can actually do and what the impacts are to you as a property investor and developer and the impact to your money and how you can use it as an advantage to you to move forward in 2022. Welcome, welcome to our channel. My name is Cam Duvedi if you're joining me for the first time and I'm the founder of Premier Property and like what I say in this video, I want to share all of this with you right now. So as we're aware, interest rates have gone up from 0.1% to 0.25% uh, and that's just been announced by the Bank of England. This is why I wanted to do this video for you to really understand what you can actually be doing. Now, here's the thing. When we assess interest rates for Bank of England and we track it back to over 100 years, what we'll actually find is that they typically normalize anywhere between 6 to 8%. And they oscillate between this channel of 6 to 8%. So what we've got right now, and since the last recession, is really a, a really massive anomaly. You know, that hasn't happened for many years where we had such low interest rates. And last year and the year before, you know, many people were talking about having negative interest rates. Um, and uh, what we found, of course, is that hasn't been the case. And if you're like me, you've always been the advocate for, you know, knowing that what's going to happen is interest rates are going to go up. Now, there are a number of key under the radar indicators that actually allow you to understand why the interest rates are actually rising. Now, one of the key indicators is inflation. And the government have been telling us that inflation is at 4.8% and uh, now is heading towards 5.1%. Now, we all are aware, aren't we, that inflation in real terms isn't that figure. And it's much higher, isn't it? You've only got to look at the energy bills that are going up and coming up over the next uh, few months, typically rising by three to four times. Uh, when you're filling up for petrol and diesel, we're all aware that inflation is much more than 5.1%, isn't it? And if you're dealing with uh, contractors and materials, for sure, you're finding right now, if you're like us, that inflation is definitely not 5.1%. It's more like 33%. In some cases for material, materials have gone up by 100%. So, what we're being told is inflation is rising and we are aware of, aware of this, right? Now, my view is inflation is rising much faster than the Bank of England and the government are actually telling us. Now, here's the thing. Like what I say, this is a key indicator because one of the things that you'll find is two things never are in status quo, the Bank of England base rate and inflation. It's a fact. They never stay in status quo. As inflation rises, the interest rates have to rise, no matter the government or the Bank of England intervening, trying to manage the situation, it just can't be managed, it's a fact. So we are gonna be finding much more inflation happening in 2022, and it's also gonna impact further on interest rates as well. And my view is interest rates are gonna rise much faster than people think out there. So how does this impact you? What does this mean for you? Well, let's think about this money in the bank. So you've got money in the bank, you know people that have got money in the bank. The money in the bank, in real terms, of course, inflation is actually eroding that, isn't it? So people right now with money in the bank have a bit of a problem. And the problem is their money, like what I say, is eroding and they wanna utilize that money and put it into stable assets like property. So if you're in a situation where you're thinking, well, you haven't really got the money, well, trust me, there's so many people that actually have and you can be the instigator where you help them and you can help yourself too. Or, you know, people that actually have money in the bank. So think about opportunity cost, you know, while it's doing the eroding in the bank, you can actually be doing the accelerating in property investing. Something to really think about. Now let's go deeper together and discuss further. Because when you think about this, let's discuss loans. So you have money, you've got money in the bank. You take on a loan, loan to put into property, and the loan itself is, of course, money itself, right? But that money is borrowed from the bank, so it's the bank's money, of course. So my point is, if the money in the bank is being eroded by inflation, and the loan that you borrowed is also money, do you agree with me that that money is also being eroded? Think about this. Quite interesting, isn't it? Now that we're aware, whether it's money in the bank or it's a loan that you're taking from the bank, that money is actually being eroded by inflation. So when we assess this, are we then saying that actually inflation becomes your friend? The higher the inflation, 
the more your loan actually erodes. Quite interesting that, isn't it, when you think about it? Now let's discuss interest rates together. Now, when it comes to interest rates, one of the key numbers, if you're like me, that you measure is how much interest rates can actually increase the value of mortgage payments on a regular basis, on interest-only payments. So let's think about this. So here's a quick rule of thumb that I've been using for many years and uh, feel free to use this. For every 1% of increase, for every £100,000, you will find that your monthly payment on interest only is £83.33. Pence. Think about that. You can use that gauge. You can watch this video back again. So 1%, £83.33. Pence. So when we think about what's actually been increased, in the whole great scheme of things right now, at the moment, it's not, it's not a big deal. Um, typically, uh, the increase from 0 0.1 to 0.25%, which the lenders are going to follow with, what we're finding is that you, know, you are going to be in a situation where you're paying typically another 10 to 15 pounds per calendar month on your interest, on your mortgage. And of course, if you're renting that property out, then you've got that income coming back in. So right now, it really still makes sense. Now, we're discussing Bank of England base rate, but let's go even further deeper together. And what we'll assess is that actually what you pay isn't the Bank of England base rate. Of course, we're dealing with lenders. Now, when we come to dealing with lenders, what we notice, of course, is that they are making margins and they are making larger margins than they've ever made before. Pre-2008, before the last recession, what was happening was uh, margins were much tighter when it comes to lenders. And typically their margin was anywhere between one to one and a half percent. Now, if we assessed where the uh, Bank of England base rate has dropped so much and the government tried to really reduce the rates, the lenders didn't really follow suit. They did drop the rates, but they didn't drop the rates to the extent they could actually drop them. Which means that they've been making a margin for almost a decade now, a much larger margin than they normally would make. So what we're also going to be finding is that all the Bank of England base rates are going to be increasing and they like what I say, they're going to increase much more than you think. Remember, they normalize at 6 to 8%. And my view is, it's going towards 6% within the next 24 to 48 months. I haven't got a crystal ball, or maybe I have. I'm just sharing with you facts from our experience on what we're doing. Now, the thing is, that margin for the lender is also going to be squeezed. So, although Bank of England base rates will increase, the lender's margins will actually start to decrease, if I'm making some sense for you. So right now, we have this real golden opportunity where the doors are open, however, there ain't that much time to actually jump onto this. My view is you have anywhere between six to nine months to learn what to do to grab these deals, these projects where the financing is extremely discounted. So let's discuss how much is discounted by. Well, what we're finding is, and I can't give you financial advice, but I'm just sharing with you what we do. And what we're finding is, Right now, the finance products that we're taking are in residential properties, so whether that's bike lets or HMOs, uh, in these types of scenarios, we're finding financing to be around the 3% mark. For commercial developments and so on, we're finding at another couple of percent to that, that's where we are right now. So if right now finance is around the 3% mark, and is going to rise and is going to normalize around the 6% mark, when we really think about this, Hopefully you'll agree with me that it's quite exciting because what that means is that finance right now is 50% discounted. Quite shocking when you think about that and a massive opportunity that's right in front of you. So my view is, and not just my view, what we're actually doing is, it's a case of fill your boots as quick as possible while you still can. So we're investing correctly, you can invest correctly. Um, I'm an investor developer over the last 30 years. Uh, and for, for those of you who are joining me for the first time, and we're very active in the market right now, and I love sharing information because it's my balanced approach to life, and right now is the opportunity, because out there people are uncertain, they are more fearful, interest rates are rising, whereas you, you know, can think about these things that I'm sharing with you here right now, and you can find some certainty within that uncertainty. Hope I'm making some sense here for you. So please start thinking about this. Now remember, I can't give you financial advice. I'm an investor developer, I'm not a FCA regulated mortgage broker. Please speak to your mortgage brokers who can assist you with this. But here's some detailed tips that you can actually use. So we are financing many different types of projects and um, here are my top three lenders right now um, that I would suggest that you check in with your mortgage brokers to get some really exciting deals. 
Because the thing about finance is, finance right now is extremely readily available. This recession that we're in right now is completely different to the last recession. And we're aware, aren't we, in the last recession, financing was the big thing, wasn't it? That was the big hurdle. Um, this time round, financing is so readily available. Even with lenders, what we're finding right now is that money is readily available. Property stock is readily available. Strong asset class. Everybody understands that property is really important and it works as a fundamental human need. Now that we've discussed why it's important to understand about interest rates and inflation, we've discussed what the impact's gonna be and how you can actually use it to your advantage. What I wanna do now is I wanna share with you three of my most favorite lenders right now that you can use to your advantage. Of course, check them out with your mortgage brokers and I'm gonna discuss these with you right now. But before I do, if you're enjoying this and you haven't already subscribed to our channel, then feel free to do this. You can do this right now and you can click on that bell icon, can't you, to make sure that you get the latest notifications. I'm always doing cutting edge videos that are relevant to you, whether you're starting or whether you're an experienced property investor. So come and join our community. I'd love you to be part of our community. You can do this right now. So let's think about uh, the top three lenders. Now remember, this is all off the cuff, so I'm gonna share with you the ones that I've got in my mind right now, which means that you get a lot of peace of mind knowing that you've got the right lenders that you can really fast track your journey. Now, before I mention those lenders, I wanna also mention one of the key mistakes that many investors make, and that is that they're always looking for the lowest interest rate. In my view, the lowest interest rate you know, it doesn't really mean anything. Because in my experience, what you want, you really want is you want to be in a product that you can actually do the deal with. Where you've got an easy lender and where there's a match for the lender and the type of property that you're purchasing. Something to keep in mind. Now when you think like this, it makes the deal actually happen. So here's my top three lenders I wanna share with you. So the first one is Vida Home Loans. Now, we love Vida Home Loans because they will go right now all the way down to £50,000 when it comes to purchasing. So we're able to, and you can, purchase properties in areas where the values are much lower. Many lenders won't invest in those types of areas, but Vida Home Loans are brilliant for this. Also with Vida Home Loans, what I love is that you don't need to be a homeowner. So for example, children, if you've got children or people that are uh, not homeowners, then you can get them onto the property ladder. In fact, my daughter just bought her first property. She lives at home, but she's got it through Vida uh, because she's not a homeowner, but she's a school teacher, if that makes sense. So ages between 18 to 80, Vida home loans are lending. Very interesting that, isn't it? Because you do realize, don't you, that the new 21 is 50. <laughs> so moving forward, Vida home loans are really good. Um, one of our favorite lenders, um, another one of our favorite lenders is Foundation Home Loans. Now, Foundation Home Loans, the big advantage with them is that they have, actually have manual assessment lending. So it's not just a computer that says no or yes, it's actually a human being that assesses your situation. So if you, you've got um, a credit blip or if you've got uh, a CCJ or something that's on your credit file, Foundation Home Loans will take a view on this. Now remember, these are our favorite lenders. Do check these with your for FCA regulated mortgage broker. And of course, as the entrepreneur, you're bringing it to them. The third of my most favorite lenders I wanna share with you right now is Fleet Mortgages. Now, Fleet Mortgages is very exciting when it comes to 2022 because Fleet Mortgages have just been bought out by Starling Bank. And at the head of Starling Bank is actually a very competent lady, really smart, a lot of common sense, and I love what she's doing for Starling Bank. Now, because Fleet Mortgages have been bought by Starling Bank, the same ethos applies. Very innovative, ready to lend money, and really good for you. So Fleet Mortgages is one to be looking out for as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this breaking news on Premier Properties channel here right now, and hopefully you've subscribed. If you haven't, you can do it right now. Click on the bell icon. My name's Cam Duvedi, I'm the founder of Premier Property, helping you to take your property investing and developing to the next level. I'll see you in the next video.